to my channel. So I have another video for you. Um, it's New Year's Eve, so I will probably post this tonight, um, if not um, tomorrow. But um, I just want to wish everybody a Happy New Year and all the best and I hope that you continue to stay with me and um, yeah so I posted these on my Instagram um, they are alcohol marble nails that I did and um, I just loved the way they turned out so each of them are different they never come out the same way even though I try but so that is awesome that's actually the point um, but I had a few ladies ask me how I did these so I figured I would show you now um, I actually did go to Michael's um, yesterday my husband was out so I was all alone so I went to Michael's and um, grabbed some more alcohol eggs. So the ones that I'm using, um, they're the Jim Holtz and they're alcohol inks and they come three in a pack. So these ones I just got yesterday, um, they always put, um, they're assorted packs. So you don't really get a choice of what's in the pack. So this one um, is cranberry, and then this green one is called lettuce, and this one is eggplant. So I was very excited to get these ones. So that was in the one pack, and then I actually have two other packs as well. And I believe um, they came like this. So everything so in this pack this was the very first pack I got and it came with pool and um, pink sherbet and then it came with this brown and it was espresso so and then the other set came with uh, stream wild plum and butterscotch so they always put, I don't know, I'm like partial to pinks and purples, as you know. So, but I find that they tend to put a pink, a blue, and like a brown. A pink and a blue and a brown. And then this one, we got a purple, a red. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. I'm just throwing them everywhere. And a green. So um, I believe for this set I used um, I used the lighter colors. So I used the um, pool and the pink sherbet, and then um, I can't remember. Oops, sorry whether I used butterscotch or espresso. I think I think I used the butterscotch. So, and that's the color combo I got. Um, so I'm gonna try my new colors just cause they're my new colors and I wanna see what they look like. I'm just gonna get these guys out of the way. So I'm gonna try these three colors cause I wanna see how they go. Um, but I will do the same procedure as I did on these nails. So you'll get um, to see the look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Lexi. And she's going to, we're going to demo on Lexi. So um, first off, I used my white. So... I was playing I was playing with Lexi earlier because um, I was trying to see I mean she came I got her with a bunch of clear tips um, so and they're number three so she oops, she came with a bunch of clear tips so I actually have a bunch of other ones and I wanted to see what um, which ones would fit so I have these long stiletto ones 
and um, they fit in her. And then I have like these ones, and these ones fit. Um, and I have these kiss ones that I got at Walmart, and they fit in her. And I love these ones. These are my coffin ones, or ballerina ones. And they're the ones I used for here. And um, they fit in her as well. Oh, hi, Daisy. Sorry, <laughs> somebody licked me in. I don't know if you can say hi. Whoops, say hello, Daisy. Okay. Go. So she wants, always wants to play when I, I'm doing my nails. So, anyway. So, I just thought... It was kind of cool that I can I can use up a whole bunch of different nails, and um, they all fit in Lexi, so that's awesome. So I'm going to do a pointy one today. Um, I also did want to say I know a lot of girls use um, use of fake nails, which is great. I have no qualms about them, but I just it irks me. I don't know, just a pet peeve when the girls don't file their um, their tips down. You know the little little plastic bits from manufacturing. It's like take two seconds. Like two seconds and file the the little bits down. I don't know. Just a pet peeve. So okay, so let's let's try the pointy ones. Um, okay, so now products that I'm using. So first off, um, I'm going to use I'm A. Lee, and this one is 011, which is, um, I think it's Arctic White. So, let me make sure. I'm in frame. So I'm making sure... I don't hit the side walls or the cuticle and I'm just doing a thin even coat okay so I'm going to cure this and I'll be right back one moment Okay, so I did a second coat off camera. I figured, you know, um, you don't really need to see that. Okay, so second thing is now I am going to use a matte top coat. Now, um, I find the alcohol inks look better in matte. So we're just going to do a thin, even coat as per usual. Just making sure I get all the way up. Okay, and now we secure her. Okay, one moment. Okay, so um, now I've not top coat and she's all ready to go. So now um, there's a couple ways that you can apply them. You can use um, like these things. Um, now these particular ones, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, my friend uh, Nail of Interest, she sent them in my Christmas parcel. There's a number on them, so I don't know if that corresponds to those. Maybe she can pipe in and tell you. Um, so I use some, and I found that this kind of soaked it up a little more than I liked. So. Um, do, do, do. I had which brush? I had a brush. Do, do, do. Hang on one sec, I gotta find it. Okay, I found it. It was just this little cheapy brush that I got off off of um like AliExpress or something. Just um I don't wanna use my good brushes, like my nail stuff brushes, because I didn't want to wreck them just because I love them so much, so Okay, so 
pots open. So I have eggplant and lettuce and cranberry. Kind of makes you kind of hungry. So basically, and then what I found is um, originally I used, um, so I have alcohol. In here I have a 99% alcohol. And then I, in this one, I had the 70% alcohol. And then originally I, I was using the 70 and it wasn't giving me the nice kind of flowy kind of effect. So I switched it up and I, I was using the 99. I felt the 99 worked better for me, but you know, you know, work with what you got. So basically what I did now, sorry, I'm not as prepared as I normally would be. I don't know why. So I'm just going to grab some paper towel just, you know, in case. So basically I just kind of put a few drops. These are all very dark colors. Like. So then, probably have way too much in here. Now, you don't have to worry too much about getting into your cuticles because um, this is alcohol inks and um, it will come off with um, alcohol. So, so, basically, I do have too much, so I'm going to sop some of this up. And I put way too much on. I might have to try this again so you can get the full. So what I'm doing now is I've just dipped it into the alcohol. And uh, it's kind of taking some of the colors away. It's giving me that nice line effect. So basically, I just play with it until I kind of get the look I'm going for. So, oops, what I might do is add in some of the other colors. See, this is what I should have done. Used one color, kind of blended it in and then used another color because by putting them in all together it just made a big soupy mass and the more you take out with the alcohol the better the effect you get These are so much fun to play with, like seriously. Like, you can do so many different, different effects with them and with adding the different colors. They're just, yeah. I just love them. So this is a totally different look than my other ones. But I'm still just loving them. And honestly, I just, you can just, I could sit here all day <laughs> and play. So, 
I kind of like this look. So I'm just going to add just adding some of the purple in to the edge here. Okay. I kind of like that look. What do you think? Okay, so note, don't put in a lot of the colors. Do a couple little drops and then um, then play with it because otherwise you they just blend the colors in too much. So now what I did, um, once I got the, uh, the look that I've got, um, what I did was I took this one, 096 from I May Lee. Um, this one's called Dancing Little Snow. And it's like this fabulous um, topper. Like, look at that. And I just took a little bit and I just kind of outlined. Like, I didn't put a lot just different spots where I just kind of wanted to highlight. It just gives it a nice little shimmer. See, look at that. Then what I did was I have um, these gold flakes and this is from nailstuff.ca and um, You've seen me use this stuff before, and then I've just got my my nail stuff. Um, it's just my little silicone. I like the pointy one for for doing this kind of stuff because I can just tap in and just grab a little bit of the flakes and just put them in. where I want it. And because the gel um, is still wet, it just stays nicely. So I'm just going to put a little bit more here. Oh, got a flaky over there on poor Lexi. There we go. close up my flakies okay so I'm just gonna cure this and I will be right back one moment okay so I'm back and now I am going to take my no white top coat and I am going to top coat Lexi and it will just make everything just Look at that. Like, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so let me cure this and I will be right back with the final look. One moment. Okay, so I'm back and this is the final look. Let's see if we can zoom in. See, look how pretty she is. I just love these alcohol inks like they're just they're so much fun to use and um, yeah totally totally different look um, different depending on which colors you use you can get like total different c color combinations and um, different effects um, but I really love using um, the topper and um, I think the gold flakes just gives it a really pretty, um, classy 
I don't know, elegant. That's what I'm going for, elegant look. So anyway, so that's that's exactly how I did it. Um, super, super easy to do. And like I said, just play with it. There's no right or wrong, um, whatever you kind of like. Um, even though I put in um, a bunch of the different colors, I was able to fix it um, and come up with a different look. Um, but um, yeah, I would probably do a couple colors and then kind of move it around and then a couple more colors. Um, and I used gel this time. Um, next video, if you would like, I'm going to try it with regular polish and um, see how it goes as well. Just to give you some options. If you're not into gel, then you, you know, you can do it with um, regular polish as well. So anyway, I hope uh, you have a very happy new year, uh, wherever you are. And um, thank you so much for stopping in and, um, and giving me some love on my, on my YouTube channel. I appreciate it very much. And on my Instagram and my Facebook. Um, yeah. So um, anyway, I'm starting to ramble now. So I hope you are having a great day. Okay. Bye for now.